All right, so let's talk about why I type in Dvorak. Okay, I've gotten this question a couple times from people when they find out they think it's very odd. Um, the reason they think it's odd, it usually comes up when I talk about Vim key bindings, uh, H, J, K, L to move up, down, left, right. H, J, K, L, of course, on the QWERTY layout are right next to each other, so they're all there for your right hand. H, J, K, L are not next to each other on Dvorak, okay? Two are on my left hand, two are on my right hand. One is like index pinky, one is uh, these two fingers. And it's one of those things where it's like, People ask me, like, oh, so do you rebind things with Vim? And it's like, no, I don't, because a lot of the uh, keybinds in Vim are, what's the word? I don't know, semantic. I don't know if that's the correct word, but like Y for yank, P for paste, C for change, D for delete, X to X something out. Um, so I don't want to change them because that's how I think of them in my brain. I don't just think of them as buttons I press. I think of them as the actual words that they represent. Um, so the reason I bring this up is because I type in Dvorak, but I still use Vim, so all my keys are in way different places than you're used to. But the same way that in your brain you might think, oh, I have to click C now, so your finger just clicks C. I think the same thing, I just use a different finger to click C. Um, but the question is, why did I start typing in Dvorak? And there's a couple answers, I'll give you a couple answers. First one is, it, I remember looking it up at the time. It was around 2008, I was going to school and I knew that I wanted to do tech and computers and I was gonna be programming and I'm gonna be on a keyboard for, Probably the rest of my life. I mean, this besides being my job, this is my hobby. I mean, I would actually say this is my hobby first and then, you know, job second. Like, I just like tech. This is stuff that I'm passionate about. So I knew, along with typing, I play piano. And if anyone's at risk of, like, you know, arthritis and carpal tunnel, it's, you know, it's me. I, I like to use my hands and my fingers. So the problem is I needed to make sure that I was, like, future-proofing it. Um, so I read a bunch of stuff that was like, you know, hey, you know, QWERTY might not be the best on your fingers long run, Dvorak should be better. I don't know if any of that's true, I'm just gonna throw that out there, it might all be, you know, debunked at this point, I have no idea, but at the time I was like, you know what, I'm gonna invest in my future, I should learn how to type into this. That was the first thing, the second thing is it's fun, come on, it's fun, it's fun to like learn new things and challenge yourself. The third thing is that it was a challenge. My girlfriend and I, at the time, came up with this idea to challenge each other to do it. She could touch type in QWERTY, I could not, and we thought it'd be fun to see, you know, who could learn it. So, like, over the summer, we both, um, we, we lived in different places, so we were both, like, learning how to do it. And then when we met up, I realized I had not been practicing at all. I had just been hanging out with friends and just chilling, and she had been practicing, and she kicked my ass. Oh, my God, she was so much better at typing. And if you want to know something about me and the way my brain works, I was like, okay, well, this can't stand. <laughs> I'm incredibly competitive. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get really, really good at this. So I think at my prime, um, you know, I, I probably like a year later, six months later, I don't remember exactly, I was typing, I think I topped out 115, 120, maybe 125 words per minute at Dvorak. I don't remember. Now I can, I think I can still hit 100, but that's more than enough when it comes to coding. When you're coding, you're not hitting those numbers. You're spending more time thinking and just laying out the proper syntax and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, when it came to Dvorak, it was it was like a fun thing, but it was also challenging and it was competitive. Um, to answer a couple questions, no, I don't have my keyboards capped with Dvorak. I tried doing this, so I got a keyboard and I had a custom cap with Dvorak. This was like 2016, so I'd already been typing on it for you know eight years, and I remember being like, "This is so cool! I've typed in Dvorak forever. I'll finally have a keyboard with Dvorak on it." And man, did I hate it! <laughs> I hated it. Because, here's the thing, I never learned to type in QWERTY. I learned to type in Dvorak. So I don't have to look at my hands when I'm typing in Dvorak, but I do have to look at my hands when I'm typing in QWERTY. So when a computer first boops up, sometimes it's in QWERTY. Sometimes things go wrong and it's in QWERTY. Or if you're using some like weird terminal emulator through a website, sometimes you know if it goes directly to the console, they're just getting raw key codes. So I need to be in QWERTY mode. Some video games only work if you swap it back to QWERTY. It's a little bit of a hassle. But my point is, when I needed to type in QWERTY, I would look down at the keyboard and I would see Dvorak and I'm like, well, this doesn't help me. I don't need Dvorak. I know how to type in Dvorak. So I realized quickly, just leave it capped as QWERTY. All my keyboards are capped as QWERTY. They look like QWERTY, but when I type, instead of, you know, ASDF, you get AOEU. Um, so yeah, it's that's why I learned how to do it. It's nothing too exciting. Um, if you want to challenge yourself, I'd say go for that. I know some people use Colmac and they think that's really cool. I think it's like the, you know, programmer friendly one. There might even be like, Dvorak programming ones or Colmac programming ones. I don't even know. Uh, there's a whole ton of different uh, keyboard layouts out there. But yeah, that's sort of what pulled me into Dvorak. That's why I thought it'd be cool. And that's why I still type in it today. So yeah, that's it.